And this morning we're sharing with you a pretty incredible story. A 102 year old man from Amherst is getting the biggest award handed down in his field, which is statistics. And that award is equivalent to the Nobel Prize. Yes, our Alexander Rios Melvia has the story and a little bit more on the impact he's had on the world. Welcome there. It's nice. At age 102, Kalyam Puri Radhad Krishna Rao is still on top of his game. Very, very observant. Even now, he's trying to read who did that. Extremely observant, even at this age. A skill his daughter, Tasia, says has stuck with him right? for decades. I think that sense of observation which is so important for research. He has that and focus. <laughs> CR is a mathematician and statistician and has dedicated his entire life to it. Since the age of the early 20s, his life has been about research. And a long life it has been. His last paper came out when he turned 100. There is a gallery in my father's institute that showcases his career and life. CR has an impressive resume, including over 160 publications. We knew he was special and important and you know he was the director of a big institute in India and he was always traveling and lecturing and we had scientists from all over the world visiting our home but uh, had no concept of what his work was to the extent I didn't realize I had used some of his work when I did my doctoral work to analyze the data and I came to him and dad said dad is that you he said yeah when Sierra was just 25 he laid the foundation of modern statistics through his work, work that is still being used today. It has impacted all the sciences, including fields of artificial intelligence, big data, and um, his work really touches our everyday life, things like weather forecasting, what medications to use, one which is better than the other, detecting spy planes. And now, more than 75 years later, CR is being awarded for it. Are you happy that you got the International Prize in Statistics? Huh? You are happy, aren't you? We're all very, yeah. We're all very happy for you, right? Very proud of you. Uh. Yeah. For him to be recognized and remembered for the fundamental work that he's done has been just lovely. I wish my mom were there. She would have been dancing. She used to always say that there's no Nobel Prize in statistics, but this is equivalent to it. And I'm sure wherever she is, she's happy and very, very glad that he got the recognition and he's here um, to know about it. Yeah, ain't called Nana. Yeah, and I really want to emphasize what she just said that no matter what field you are in in science, I have a couple of friends who went to the University of Georgia, did their master's in computer science, and they've seen his work. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what science field you're in. Even Patrick, he's probably came across his forecasting um, and not even realized it at the time. But I do want to mention the 2023 International Prize in Statistics will be given out in July by the International Institute in Iowa, uh, Ottawa. Uh, CR can't tra travel, but his family will be there to accept the award. Alex, thank you. And his daughter did such a beautiful job telling his story and to kind of see it through her eyes was, was really special as well. Alex, thank you.